What's up YouTube, coin flip back, and we have two bags of dimes. These are $500 bags a piece. Just picked them up from our local bank, customer drop-offs. I was talking to them and asking if there's a lot of stuff being dropped off lately, and they said a lot. So I chose to uh, go with the customer drop-offs as opposed to the uh, the bank boxes. So we're gonna get uh, one of these pushed back, keep one out, start digging in, and hopefully find some silver. That's the, primarily the only thing we're gonna be looking for. Um, there are a couple uh, double dies and things of that on dimes, but they're hard to read and Anyway, there's a lot of them. So generally we're just looking for silver unless we find anything else unique, like a mint air or something of that nature. But let's get these pushed back and dig into this first bag. All right, we're a few handfuls in and we're gonna have one here towards the left right there. But as you can see, the reading looks a little bit different. I'm just gonna say it's probably a Canadian, it's a little shiny. I do this one hand. Yeah, it's Canadian. What do we have? 2018 Canadian. We'll keep moving. All right, guys, we found another Canadian. I think it's a 2020, but we just have our first real find, which I think this one's definitely silver. You can see it here on the end. Let's see if I can fish this out for you. I think it's this one here, right? All right, what do we have? 59. 59 Denver, first silver of the hunt, 59 Rosie. Let's go. All right guys, I put the camera back on the overhead just because it's hard to film and get dimes situated, but I think we do have one in here. If I recall, here it is. You can see that shiny gray edge here. I think we're gonna have another silver and it's pretty wore out it looks like. So let's see what we got. Looks like a Denver mint mark. What year is it? 1960. We're gonna have our second silver dime. Put that right up there on the board for you. So, all right, awesome. We have, uh, I don't know, a quarter of the bag left in this first bag. Been pretty slow. I didn't bring you in four. Um, so we, we had the two Canadian, but <laughs> there was a penny in this customer drop off. Pretty messed up zinc penny, but shield scent. Anyway, we'll keep moving and hopefully there's a few more silver in there. All right, guys, I just, uh, again, another handful here, but check this out. I saw this weird gray edge. It's like really dark. It's just a completely worn down penny. All right, we'll keep going. All right, guys, I think we're gonna have another silver here and try to get it to where you can see it, but I think it's right here in it. This one looks old too, definitely worn down. I'm not sure. No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh man, you know what that is. That's a Merc, pretty slick. Denver Mint Mark, looks like a 1943. 1943 Mark, all right. I'll take those any day. All right, three silvers on the bag. And again, this is a $500 bag, so that's the same as two boxes that you would normally get from the bank. So one and a half fines so far, there's not very much left in this bag. Just a couple, two or three handfuls, I bet, if that. So we'll finish up this bag, hopefully, and then uh, kind of just recap this real quick and then jump into bag number two. All right, that's gonna wrap the uh, first bag anyway. We had two, two Lincoln cents found in there, both in awful condition. This one's like the size of a dime and completely shaved down. So pretty crazy there. Two Canadians, 2020 and a 2018, maybe a 16, it's hard to tell. And three silvers. Can't be mad at that, it's not a skunk, 59 Denver. 1960 Denver, 1943 Denver, Merc. Pretty happy to find those Mercs. So we'll start digging in that second bag and see what we can get. Okay, we're only a few rolls into this bag and I think we may have our first silver here. I haven't seen it. So let's see what it is. It's a Rosie. Looks like it's from Philly and it's really hard to tell, but it does look like it's a 46. Yep, that's a 46, first year rosy. Pretty rough shape, but we'll get it on the board. All right, it looks like we have another one, and it's right here, but this one may be a Canadian because of the uh, the readings different. You might see it there. And again, you can tell just how shiny it is. It's more of a shiny silver as opposed to gray silver edge. So when you see those, yeah, it's Canadian 2010. All right, another Canadian. We will keep going. All right, guys, we've had a few more hand rolls going through, and I think we're going to have another one here. You can see it. And I did want to show you something. So we did pick up another 
Canadian as well. Looks like a 1968. Let's see how this reading is a little more tight, a little more dense. I want to grab one of these Canadian ones and put it over here to show you, if you haven't done this before, how they look different. Obviously, this one has the same reading as the other dimes, where this one's more spaced out. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference there, if you can see it. And you see also in the silver, see how shiny this one is, but this one's just a gray edge. So again, Canadian versus constitutional United States silver. All right, anyway, I haven't looked at this one, so let's see what it is. Canadian we knew about. Okay, so let's see what this one is. This one does look shiny for what it is, though. 1964 Denver. All right, common year, but more silver, so we're good with that. So three Canadians, two silvers in this box. Let's keep going. All right, guys, so I just pulled out a handful here and found something that I would uh, probably never have expected to find in this bag, but we have a quarter, and this one looks to be 1999 Georgia, and it's from Denver. So definitely didn't expect to find a quarter, um, but <laughs> that's what you get in these customer drop-off. I'm not sure how they make it in the dime bag there, but and I did want to mention on the uh, Canadian dimes, we have two 1968s. I don't know if I brought you in for the second one. Um, let me put these down quick. I'll show you. It looked silver to me, which is this one. This is the first one we found. So I did look it up, and 68 was the first year of the 99% nickel. So uh, 67 was the last year of 80% dime. So unfortunately, we missed that one by one year, but 268s on the foreign. So we'll keep going. We'll bring you back in on the next find or the recap. We have probably 25% left. All right, well, that's gonna wrap up this hunt. First box, we had two silver rosies and the uh, 43 Denver Merc, two Canadians and two pennies. This last bag, we found a quarter, believe it or not, which is, you never know what you're gonna find in those customer drop-offs. We found five Canadians again, Thought these two were silver, but they're not. And then uh, two more for the silver jar. 64 and a 46 with some junk on it. So anyway, we'll pull up that silver jar here. And we can put all these in there and listen to that beautiful silver sound. So almost done for the year. We'll get everything wrapped up here and go over this at the end of the year. But didn't fill it up like we wanted, but still pretty heavy. So we're happy with that. As always, thank you for watching. Hit that like and something. Please consider subscribing. And again, I have some affiliate links below for Amazon if you want to check those out for some of the stuff we're using. Coin flip out.